This is Calculus in a Single Variable. I'm Robert Greist, Professor of Mathematics and Electrical and Systems Engineering at the University of Pennsylvania. This is an online course to debut on Coursera, January 7th, 2013. The course will last for 13 weeks. I'd like to give you a preview to the styling and structure of the course. The course consists of five chapters. In chapter one, we'll begin with the exponential function, e to the x, and from that, develop an approach to considering functions through approximations, series, and Taylor expansions. This feeds into chapter two, where we set the course in motion by reconsidering the idea of derivatives and differentiation from our new perspectives. In chapter three, we undo differentiation and consider integration. Motivated by simple problems in differential equations, we develop the indefinite and then the definite integral and consider methods and techniques of integration. In chapter four, we put these tools to use in applications, including simple applications to computing areas and volumes, but moving then to applications including probability, statistics, physics, and more. In chapter five, we consider instead of functions with analog inputs, functions with digital inputs or sequences. We then redevelop all of calculus for such functions, including limits, derivatives, differential equations, and integrals. There are several prerequisites for this course, including basic algebra, the ability to deal with exponents, to deal with polynomials, and the like. From time to time, we'll skip some of the algebraic steps in our calculus work, and you're going to need to be able to fill those in. You're also going to want to have a background in basic geometry, working with planar curves, some three-dimensional shapes, volumes, areas, and the like. Exposure to trigonometry is a must. You'll need to be familiar with sines, cosines, tangents, and their relationships to angles and triangles. Some pre-calculus background is also necessary. You're going to need to know what an exponential function is and what its inverse, the natural logarithm, is. Lastly, this course is not for someone who has not seen any calculus before. It will be assumed that you know how to compute the derivative of a polynomial, or the derivative or integral of an exponential function. We're going to assume that you've seen derivatives in the context of slopes of a tangent line, or integrals in terms of area under a curve. We won't stop there. Indeed, we will greatly deepen and enrich your understanding of these concepts, but it will be assumed that you've seen this at a basic level before. If you've got the prerequisites and you're willing to work, I invite you to join me in this course. Whether you're a student learning calculus for the first time, or whether you've had the subject before and need to review or see things from a fresh perspective, this course will give you the tools that you need in order to succeed. For more information, go to www.coursera.org. I'm Robert Greist. Thank you very much.